Hey hey folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate, me Beanie81. Today we're going to head off to Adoy's Enclave to search for Nera's uh, tutor, uh, who she's been looking for. Before we need, to, before we do that though, I'm actually wanting to sell a load of stuff, so we're going to head to all the way to Baragost. Could go to Nashkul, but we've got problems there. Let's face it, those problems ain't going to be sorted anytime soon. You have been waylaid by enemies you and must defend yourself. I punch. Full plate and packing steel. Ah. So, Winter Wolf, this could be a difficult fight. Yeah? What do you um, want? I did, uh, I did come across one of these in a failed recording, and they are pretty tough, so I'm going to use a champ. My book! Oh, it's not nice, though. If you do ever get back to Nashville, there's a. Uh, My blade will cut you good. Full plate plus. and packing steel of uh, huh? XP. I'll give a lot of XP, I should say. And that, that, that's a somewhat good route, I guess. Although it seems a bit enemies and must defend yourself. What was that noise? Oh, Skelebobs. Okay, uh, you... What you got for me this time? Cool, you go you go <laughs> You're a queer him. fellow. Yes. Uh-huh. That call. You got it! This is a five one right now. Shoot a use an arrow, but, uh, it'll do. Yeah? What do you want? Actually, that Duranak is what best do you want? Life, since he has his uh, one of his own skull pops. You point, you got well. this coming! There we go. Squeaky uh, wheel, whatever uh, they mean. See what they got. See if got anything As directed. That's two and one. Let's talk more okay. fight. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. To Baragos. Hail. It is not often that I come across strangers in this part of the world. I fear that I must take my leave. I have urgent matters that must be attended to, and I cannot wait for you any longer. Farewell. Wow. That's annoying. That's uh that's because we haven't done Keevan's side quest. Which is really annoying because it's a fairly late game side quest and we're not that. Uh, and yet it's that so early on it's. Uh, I don't know. Cool one! Maybe it's why it's so useful. Squeaky wheel gets the kick! Oh, oh well. Um, crap, he's just run off with a ton of my gear as well. Cheeky sod. Ready for that nap any time now. Oh well. Screw it, I can do about it. If it was any other character, I might actually go back to an auto save and uh, purposely take off his gear. They wish but my ear. You know what? Squeaky wheel it. gets the kick. I want him keep. I it. can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. I don't think he had too many magical items on him anyhow. Okay, so Minsk, you use a short bow. I thought you had a long bow. I should sell that and get you a short bow or a long bow even. That went wolf pelt. I say I've got to sell that somewhere else for it to be um, to, uh, to get its best value, or apparently to get any value from it since it doesn't seem to be able to be sold here. Where's the longbow? Composite longbow. There we go. You uh, sell that. Um, I can't sell any of them. Sell that. Sell that. And that. Doop 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 doop. Oh wow. Blacksmith only. Ah, he's very particular in what he buys. I'm not going to sell anything I've not identified. Nothing in there to sell. You, you, you. Not really making as much use of that gem bag as I could. In all honesty. Right. So, that's everything here. Can we buy anything nice from this guy? Anything particularly worth getting? Full plate mail. We're almost at that level actually as well. Maybe if we identify a few more items and s uh, sell them, we might actually be at the point where I can get full plate mail for 
Doronak or Minsk. So, and Minsk is pretty much a he's secure. We've done his quest. Him and Dinner here, no chance of them running off. Imwin doesn't have a quest, so she won't run off like even did. And Nira, I'm pretty sure the way that she's done her quest, like I've never come across her until this playthrough. The way she's been but talking, she'll stick with us until we uh, go do a quest. Like she's a lot more patient than any of the um, uh, old NPCs. So I think we're gonna go to the Jovial Juggler and rest for the night since Duranak is tired. Full plate and packing steel. You want some whiskey? Rest your services, merchant. Friend. I've been thinking about you. Uh, good thoughts, I hope. Not bad ones, anyway. Mostly, I can't figure you out. For example, why did you help me escape the Red Wizards? It seemed like the right thing to do. You needed help. That sounds very noble, but is it the real reason? Honestly, I stepped in because you needed help and I could give it. As simple as that, is it? Hmm. I thought there might be more to you than meets the eye. There is more to me than meets the eye. I've got depths and stuff. Let's hope so. I suppose time will tell. Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I got. Uh, I don't know if I'm really well playing uh, Duranax dialogue options to the best ability, but I'm going for the ones I find most entertaining in all honesty, and that tends to be the best way to play games like this. I find. After all, there is a lot you in this game rang? that is done solely for entertainment purposes. Oh wait, no. Let's uh, be a bit more picky than just the first one I click on. We'll identify those. Guys. Brawling hands gives you. Oh, so it's basically got dexterity. Uh, I guess it will. Win. Inventory is full. Uh, give that to her. Give that to her. You take one of those. You take one of those, and you take one of those. Oh wow, well, you've already got one, and you're a healer anyhow. So actually, you take one, and you take one. So, my frontline fighters all have. Wow, Minsk has three. Uh, Imwin has two. And Duranak has one. I could give another one to Duranak to make it, them all have two, but honestly, Duranak can heal himself. He may need to get out of the fight in order to do it properly, but it's not too hard to make him do that. I'm just gonna put that there for safekeeping. I'm not necessarily gonna worry about it, even. But, oh yeah, it's the intellect potion, isn't it? I think it was intellect. Maybe. Uh, oh well. We'll find out eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> Hopefully not to... Uh, you know... You know... These are all things I've read in previous episodes. I'm just gonna dump them. They're just taking up the inventory room. I should really find a drawer somewhere and just shove it in there. Which is one thing I tend to like to do in this game. To, for Yeah, so I can keep all the stuff. But I don't see any particular reason to in honesty this time around. Um, I'm not really that bothered about it, so a bit of inventory management here. Sorry for this, folks. Uh, I realise this isn't what you're watching this uh, series for, if you are watching it. Uh, let's try. Protect of the second. Arm class six, eight versus piercing and missiles. So what is... it's just protect of the second plus two. Requires four strength. Uh huh. So what's yours currently? Um. And armor class, it's better low than high, isn't it? If I remember, yeah. So actually, I'm just gonna give this to Imwin and just compare it. So what is it? Six and eight versus piercing and missile, or six and four versus slashing, five versus piercing. That's not nearly as good as Stood Level Plus One, which seems weird because it's Stood Level Plus Two. I am a very confused beanie right now. 
I've got no clue. Either way, I'll sell it. Uh, I see no reason not to sell it. And I think we've got one spell left, so let's do the club, I guess? Well, nobody's really doing clubs, but... Um, yeah, let's do the club. Oh, we're out of spells. Never mind. Let's not do the club. Uh, right. Already my spell book. Really? Already my spell book. And can't do that one. So, let's throw these to her in order to see, make sure she's got everything. She's got it. And she doesn't. Have it. Oh, I wanted to identify this. I forgot that we had that. Give the jewels to uh, Imwen. See, Imwen, I treat you so nicely. And. Doo -doo -doo. Right. I want to really get the. Uh, Two more identifies. So I'm gonna give these to you. And then Nera can identify two of these on the next day. And we'll only have one item left that needs identifying after that, which will be a nice situation. Okay. Um in fact, no screw it. I can only do this identify this using the scroll because I'm sure that's what it is. Um Charisma raised by one point permanently. Book is consumed upon use. Oh, that's nice. Looks like Dorana is getting another um, charisma point. Um, use it by putting it in there. Then huh? Dorana can go in like that. Charisma raised by one. Nice. I wonder if you got any special abilities for that. Seems so. You point. Either way. I ban. Butt That's kicking nice. for goodness. All right, let's head off then. Um, Butt kicking for goodness. Get health back. Uh, no, let's just go to the blacksmith. Actually, and sell that armor. That's actually not just the blacksmith, but also to here to sell the jewels. I'm pretty sure this guy uh, buys jewelry. Packing steel. You want some whiskey? What do you have to offer? Let us go to Imwen and sell all this. Also, I'm going to sell these because I don't really plan on using them. Uh, just need the inventories. Yep. Okay, now let's head to the blacksmith. Sell that armor and see if we've got enough to buy some full play. But kicking for goodness! And it looks like Minsk is in the lead, followed by Durak, Dimwin, Nira, and Din they're pretty much in the order that they're supposed to be in, actually. Um, yeah, nobody's got lost, and uh, pretty much the most boring race in history. So, yeah. Ah, no, there they go. They've reached their first obstacle, which is a fence and a very minor right turn. Oh, they, they all did it. Managed to get through the gateway. Oh, wow. They, uh, Squeaky wheel gets yeah, the I kick! Most I can race. make whatever you Definitely wish for a wee race. little bit more Whoa. than me competition. For saying how shy it is, I really feel like I'm missing something with this, but fuck it. Uh, excuse my language there. <laughs> um, let's go with that, and then Minsk, you're going to go with full plate. Buy it. And now, I should really check the stats on this before doing anything. Minus three versus slashing, minus two v piercing, and armor class one. Wow. And this is three and zero versus slashing. That's going on Dorana, just he's the main character. That's minus three now. Um. Oh, that's nice. That is really, really nice. 
Okay. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Okay, that Moonblade, I think I'm just going to drop that because the character, the only character that can use it is dead. I can't seem to sell anywhere. So, hopefully, uh, nobody's raging at me for that, but I just don't see any way anything else to do it. We'll get the kick. I suppose, again, I could find a draw somewhere and shove it in that. It'd probably be the smart thing to do. But, yeah. And Duranak was... Uh, caught by the fence obstacle there. Alright, head to Orcaster, and from there to Adoy's Enclave, through Firewine Bridge. However, I realise this hasn't been the greatest of episodes, it's not been much action unfortunately, uh, but it was an important step nonetheless in our immense, immense epic journey that is Baldur's Gate. But I am going to leave it here before the action starts, so tune in next time folks, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I've been, this has been Baldsgate, I've been BDO1, and I will catch you next time. Bye bye now.